It's been a few weeks now as offensive coordinator. You all settled in? Uh, you know, we're, we're growing every day as a group and, um, you know, looking forward to this game. And I think our, our, our players are definitely looking forward to it and, and they've been working hard at it. So uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity. Was it a big adjustment for you? I mean, it's the first time, you know, calling a whole game. So obviously there's going to be an adjustment uh, for sure. Um, you, know, the, you know, things happen a lot faster, obviously, than doing practice. Uh, but, you know, Coach Diaco, uh, the way he structured our, our practices, um, you know, gives me more opportunities to, you know, get more and more prepared every day. So I definitely, you know, appreciate how he structures things. Coming out of that first game, how would you assess the game you called, the rhythm, uh, maybe the speed of the calls in and out? Uh, Just the overall package. Thought the things needed to move faster. Uh, didn't get enough plays run, which didn't give our guys enough opportunities. Um, and in order to, you know, produce, you have to have opportunities. So, you know, that was one thing, obviously, that we, we took from that. Um, just need to let our guys play. Give them opportunities and let them play. We got good players, let them play. This extra week, is that going to help them, you know, speeding everything up and getting everyone in, in better positions? Without question. Anytime you get, uh, you know, again, it's just opportunities. More time, more practice time, the more opportunities you get, you know, the better, uh, you know, the more chances you have to get better. And I think our guys are taking advantage of that. Were you comfortable down on the sideline? Or were we going to see you up in the press box? Or? I, I was comfortable down there. Um, you know, but again, it's the first time doing it, so there's always going to be uh, an adjustment. So, um, you know, I was comfortable down there, though. Heading into games, do you guys script the first drive or two? Uh, you know, we, we talk about it as a staff. But, you know, certain situations come up and kind of dictates where you go with things. Um, but definitely we talk about those those first few calls as a staff. Just about getting the team in rhythm, getting moving. Right, getting them down. going, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. How do you like uh, how Don, Donovan handles the film review, the, the yes. aftermath of playing the Donovan first is a competitor. Um, you know, if you ever had the opportunity to, to meet his family, you would understand where that comes from, um, the way he was raised. Uh, you know, he's a very coachable uh, young man. He's very competitive. I thought uh, he handled himself very well. Uh, in the game and with corrections uh, from the game. What have you seen on film from Boston College's defense that tell you what they're they uh, challenges? They're 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 a good defense. They're very sound. Um, they have you know good size, good speed, and uh, they just play fundamentally sound football. You know they don't um, look to try to at least up to this point, do a whole lot of exotics. They just strap up and just play hard. What about you know? Landry? Uh, Off the edge. You see I mean, he's obviously, a uh, he's a guy that um, you have to be aware of at all times. Uh, he jumps out on tape. I think he's number two in the country right now in sacks. He's a, he's a, a really good player. Have you thought about what this game means to the fans here at UConn? the state and the university, what UConn Boston College means? Uh, definitely. I mean, Coach Diaco, since uh, since he arrived here, and you know, obviously I was here the, the first year, has, you know, talked to our team about, you know, how they represent this state, you know, how they represent uh, the university, how they represent the student body. So, you know, our players are very – well aware of what this game means to not only this university but also this state uh you know playing a, a opponent so close uh, an opponent that used to be i think in the conference at one point i'm not, I'm not sure if bc was in the conference when uconn got yeah. in or maybe yeah. just a short period of time Definitely. but uh you know we know that people around this state have been looking forward to this game for a long time so uh, our players understand that uh and they're working hard to prepare themselves to go up there and, and, and play well and even though you guys haven't played on the field, you're still battling them recruiting-wise. Yeah. How, how big a deal is that this weekend? Um, you know, anytime you get a chance to play an opponent um, that is in the same region as you, when you go out on the road, you see their coaches and recruiting. I mean, that's always going to mean something. Uh, you know, when you can uh, talk to a, a player about uh, a team that is recruiting them and you played that team. Uh, so. 
that, that's always going to be huge. Thank you. No problem. Thank Good you. Luck.